Hello and welcome to another Field Obs. And this one is the first Field Obs in our beautiful new Mashatu area. As you can see, we've got this gorgeous landscape, the river cutting through the dry Pitsani riverbed, and of course, famous for Mashatu's big open plains. So let's get down there and see what we can find. This is question number one. We just had the most incredible sighting of a wonderful bird doing all sorts of interesting things, breaking branches and moving around and doing all sorts of little movements. So this is a two-part question. The first part is, what bird is it? And if you're not sure, um, the size of the bird is about 80 centimeters. So it's a really, really massive bird. And the second part is, with all this interesting behavior it was displaying, what do you think it was doing? It's really interesting, this sighting, because I've never seen this baby before with this particular bird. I've seen it before, but not with these birds. And what's very interesting is the male is very confused. He looks very concerned, actually, about this whole thing. He's a bit disheveled. And uh, every now and again, she's looking at him like, you need to help me. And he doesn't know what to do. He's looking away. He's doing everything he can to avoid having to be involved in whatever it is that she's doing. So question number two is a very interesting plant. It's actually an invasive to southern Africa. It's found along the waterways, the rivers and streams. It flows down and it's quite an aggressive invasive. And it's good to know what they are. So what I want to know is what plant is this with this beautiful white flower? The deep purple in the middle there. So now it has a number of different names. Um, one thing that's very important to know about this particular plant is that it's very toxic. The plant itself isn't eaten by much, um, but the little uh, seed pod, I'll grab one for you, hold on. And inside this, once it dries, it cracks open and hundreds of seeds will spill out. So, what plant is this? This is question number three on the same plant as question number two. Now this is a very interesting arthropod. It has very long antennae. It's normally active at night, uh, but during the day they also move around. And you can see it's covered in spikes and armor, and it's actually also toxic. It's able to spray toxic fluid from its, its joints on its legs. What arthropod is this? Right, there is another question we found. We're on a roll, we're on an absolutely hot streak. Just below me over here, we've got loads and loads of little conical pits in the soft edge of the river, the soft sand at the edge of the river. And now uh, these conical pits belong to or are created by another type of arthropod. I would like to know what animal made these. Now I'm going to do something that might help you to see that animal and then maybe that will help you to know what it is. It's flicking the sand around, you see that? That's awesome. So this is the creature trying to hunt. That amazing bird. Those of you who, who, who looked carefully might have noticed it had some white spots on the belly dark mantle, a bit of a yellow eye and a very prominent crest. That was a martial eagle. So well done if you got that correct. And what it was doing, we have some ideas. We don't know for sure, but we think that it was female assessing a spot to see if it would be good for a nest. If you guess that, well done. It's not an easy one, but if you said datura or moonflower, you'd be absolutely correct. The other, the other name for it in Afrikaans is malpita, which means crazy seed, because those little toxic black seeds are really bad for you. Well done. This little creature, it's actually quite big and chunky and scary looking, is called an armored ground cricket. So if you said armored ground cricket, you are correct. Well done. If you said that these little pits, these conical pits, belong to antlion larvae, because they do. Well done. 
Well done, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that field obs. And if you did like that and you want to see more content like this about Mashatu or eco training, then please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and check out our channel.